And we're not getting anything to eat. I fancy a pot noodle. Do you want one? No, not for me. The things are no use to me, you know. Mm. Do they give you the pip? No, it's not that. It's just that I'm half all that junk food at the minute, you see. You want a sandwich? No, I wanting anything, you see. I've got my drink here. That'll do me. So you're not hungry? No, I'm not hungry. I'm laying half the food at the minute, you see. I'm sticking with this. <laughs> you're not on a diet, are you? You don't need to lose weight, you. Oh, yeah, I do, Jack. I've got this kite here, you know. I've got to get it trimmed down. So you're just on the apple juice, eh? Is that an apple juice diet? You're not meant to take just the one thing on a diet, you know. I was on a banana diet once. Left me all bound up like a geisha girl's feet. It's no apple juice, Jack. No, what is it? Urine. Eh? <laughs> urine? You're drinking number one. You're drinking urine. Aye. What in the name of hell for? I have my reasons. <laughs> well, this'll be good, eh? Reasons for drinking your own pish. Aye, right. well, I'm sitting comfortably. Where you go? Ah, oh, it's no big mystery, Jack. It's holistic medicine's a cry. Holistic medicine? Whose is this? It's mine! The bloody hell do you think I got it, eh? Eyes off your next door. <laughs> or in a cup of milk's one thing, Jack, but... You have to guzzle that every day. Aye, every day one tumbler. Rids the body of all the toxins, you see. You know? well, does it, do? That's supposed to be good for you. Well, you never know the minute, eh? Well, give us a sip. You to drink your own, Jack. No, I'm no needin'. Anyway, I might not like it. No sense of me running in there and filling up one of your good tumblers and then me no finishing it. Just give us a drop of that. Well, here you are. That's no bad, eh? You'll be doing me a spot of lemonade, mind you. Ah, you're right there, Jack. You see, but that's the thing, you see. You're not allowed lemonade, were you? Mm. Oh, you're in. Oh, you're supposed to come and meet me there, Jack. We were going to go and look at that new Econo body shop. You know what happened to you? I got this new PC this morning. That's me hooked up to the internet, eh? I've been on it all the morning. Who you want me, one of them? You're going to need to drag yourself into the... 21st century, boy. This is where it is, eh? This is a vibe. It's happening, you see? That's me connected. And get this. I've got a new girlfriend in Baltimore. <laughs> girlfriend? Baltimore? We'll never see you, Jack. Well, you're not be coming to the bowling anymore. You've still not grasped it, have you? <laughs> see, with this computer here, I can talk to anybody in the world, you see? I can even find you a girlfriend, get you some of that cyber sex, you know? Ooh, cyber sex? What's that, then? Dirty talk on the computer, you know? Virtual humping. I had some this morning. That sounds smashing. Give a shot now. What are you doing there? I've got a woman on at the moment for Florida. Right? Kathy's her name. Right? Watch yeah. this. She's a librarian. Let me see. Victor, my friend is here. He would like a word. Oh, oh. Victor. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, let us in there. Hey. Hey, come, come on, on shot. What do you do? Just type them. That's all you do. Just right. type them yeah. there. Where's the H key? I'm going to type hello, you see. Uh, where's the E? Oh, come out the road. You'll be oh. there all day at this bloody rate. Right, I'll type, you dictate. Right. Type, uh, hello, Cathy. Hello. Is it your nookie you're after? <laughs> I'm not typing that. Oh, no. Because you're jumping in too quick. You can't do that. You've got to cheat your time to do it, you see. Oh, well. Ask her about the weather, then. Right, what's the weather like? Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, bikini weather, eh? Hey, see, she's yeah. ganting for it, Jack. I told you she was ganting for it. Type that. Type Are what? you ganting for it? No! <laughs> Just type it out. Come on. Well, yeah, she's saying aye. Well, she's asking you if you want it. Well, this is it, isn't it? Right, what do you want to say? What do you want to say, Victor? Well, I'm, 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 a, I'm a wee bit uncomfy there, Jack, you know. Eh? Hey? Well, here's me about to get my knack king and... You're sitting there, right in the middle of it all, you know, <laughs> typing, like a virtual gooseberry. Well, there you are. She's asking you if you want your oats now. Look at that, you want your oats? Come on, are we getting into this or no? Will I type back? Oh, turn your head away there and type I. Well, Jack and Victor have been working with their two teams of decorators all day, so now it's time to have a look and see what changes they've made to each other's living rooms. In you come, Jack. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed. <laughs> okay. Uh, where's Victor? I'm here, Jack. Right, Jack. Open your eyes. 
Oh, eh? oh my, that's fantastic. Is this the same room? It certainly is. What do you think? What do you think? I think it's absolutely amazing. Oh, the job you've done right enough, eh? What do you think of your new fireplace? What's that? Ah, see, what we've done there, Jack, you see, is we pulled it out the grill there, you see? Stripped it down and put in one of the 11 flame jobs, you like. Oh, I see you. <laughs> Aye, he knows I like the 11 flames, that. We've almost meant to... We've put all your medals and memorabilia in there, the copper frames there. So, oh, that... I don't know what to say. Was that your idea? Oh, it was, I. Oh, that's lovely. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, where's my record player my telly in that? Hey, what's happened to that? Ta-da! Just inside here, Jack. You open this up, and they're in this lovely mock walnut cabinet. That's absolutely marvellous. I don't know what to say. I'm, 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 I'm close to tears, so I'm, I'm not happy. That's beautiful. Thanks, Victor. Hey, well, hey, Jack. Well, now it's time to go over to Victor's to see what changes Jack has made. OK, Victor, are you ready? Aye. Open your eyes. Oh, I'm fit to, you know. <laughs> don't be bloody stupid, Victor. Open them up. <laughs> oh, aye, it's... it's... it's the same. <laughs> oh, nothing. Oh, come on now, there is a difference, eh? What difference? It's exactly the bloody same, Jack. You don't see what we've done. We've done hee-haw. <laughs> even tidied my digest. They're still lying all about, look. Well, but that's the way you like them. I tried to tidy them up once before you went off your bloody heat, so you did. You said you like things the way they are. They're still stirring the sideboard here. Yeah, he, uh, he has moved your wall unit there. Oh, is that it, eh? Moved the wall unit? Well, whoop de do. I can't even get seen for the van now. The window's blocked there. <laughs> I can't believe this, you know. One bloody thing you've moved, you've made a horse's ass of that and all. <laughs> you knock my bloody pan and turning your room into a Hollywood palace, and what have you done here? Nothing. You're living in splendour, I'm living in squalor. But Victor... But Victor, nothing. Holding you responsible, you arsehole. Oh, no, Victor. Here. Where's my wally dogs? Eh, uh, they get smashed. How? It's when they moved that wall unit. in the refuge. It's a long story, son. Aye, but how? Well, how can I put this? Once upon a time in a faraway land... Nah, never mind, son. Ask me some other time. Please, tell me the story. Well, one day when the cow wasn't looking, the dish ran away with the spit. Just oh, forget it, son. We didn't have any of these herpes simplex viruses or the AIDS or any of these venereal hybrids, no. See, when I was younger, you just used to get a big, fat, itchy, bleeding bobby, you know. All of that. The one onion would blow up like a balloon. That was sore, you know. Then it would be the umbrella shot. Right up the eye. Oh, oh, oh. hello. <laughs> Look at that, here, Jack, you want to hang fire and I'll go first? Ah, uh, OK, I don't mind. I'll stand and wait here. Are you sure now? Because uh, I don't mind waiting if you want to go first, you know. Oh, that's all right. Get yourself, please. I'll just stand here. Away you go. Well, it's just there might be a wee while, you see. I've got to ask about my super Anne. Uh, well, that's what to do. Away you go. For away. goodness sake! Well, why don't you make up your mind? There's a queue here. Hey. Oh, my, so there is. Uh, it was quite a minute ago. Well, away you go, Victor. On you go. You're sure now, Jack? I am all right. I'll wait here. I don't let her rush you, by the way. Mm -hmm. Hello there, Barry. How's your cell, eh? Not bad, Mr McDade. How are you? Aye, no bad, no bad. A wee bit chesty there, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You're awfully brown now, is that you back your holidays? Aye. Tenerife for smash. Goodness oh, sake! Tenerife, eh? oh, What's the with you? Years, some of us are in a hurry. Aye, well, some of us, aren't we? You want to calm your jets. My pal's only out there doing a wee bit of bank business. As a bank, for Tenerife, God's sake. Oh, oh, aye. A wee bit of dancing and all that. A couple of pints. Aye, I was there, eh? Twenty-odd years ago, before that big crash, you know. Now, the other thing I want to ask you about is uh, a money order to Canada, you see, because my grand and he's 12 now, you know, and, uh, oh, he's an office size. You want to see the size here, you know. Well, I'm going to send him a wee bit of money, though. This is ridiculous. Oh, Why don't you button your lip? Absolutely. It's not your fault there's only one bloody teller on, eh? What's the matter, Jack? Oh, come tell on this woman it's not your fault there's only one teller on. I've got a right nippy sweetie here. Now, the other thing as well is a standing order, you see, for my home help. Uh, I, I wish to make a complaint here. Uh, uh, so do I, but the bloody cheek this one's giving me. Us <laughs> pensioners cop for it all the time, so we do, eh? Because we take a wee bit longer to complete our transactions, eh? We've got to take a lot of tripe off the high and mighty types like you. Well, I've had enough, it stops right here. Shut your trap and stop your bleating, you sow. It's me now, Jack. Oh, smashing all. That's great. Hello. Oh. This isn't ones and twos. I've not put them in bags or anything like that. I've not counted it. Ah, you 
can't he beat Saturday the third day? He swayed about the terraces, fired into a few pale ales, and then pushing into the car. I have no wrong eye. It's absolutely brilliant. What a bit. Yeah, we see murder. Where's your charger? Sorry, lads. I'm going to have How's to get that done. Fine. Take an up knob. No. What do you mean, not? Take an up knob. Tell you, I'm not wanting one. Just leave it. Mm, it's not like you. I'm going to get a rest, Jack. I'm wrapping them. Wrapping what? Nab knobs? Aye. They're not doing me any good, you know. Drive me off my nut. Well, I did warn you. One packet a week, that's what we promised ourselves. Aye, well, I broke it. I've been cheating. What do you mean you broke it? I bought a pack on Monday. Mm-hmm. Tanned the lot. Same again Tuesday. For God's sake, Victor. I woke up on Wednesday morning and the packet was the first thing I reached for. I'm telling you, Jack, they've got a grip on me. Have you taken to hiding and run about the house? Aye. Grand way and found some there in the washing machine, you know. What the embarrassing it was. So I turned the whole pack down the chute there. Promised myself that was that. It's me been cold turkey for two days now. Well, how are you feeling? Rough, I'm feeling rough. Had a pack of rich tea there, you know, yesterday, but it's no substitute. No, it's no substitute. Old Tam across the landing for me, he's addicted to them mint yo-yos. Packets and packets and packets he eats. They found him running about bollock naked down at the bottom of the flat, still clutching a packet in his horn. He gets him off a van. Aye, I'm not going to hear that van. The bloody dealer's in death. Aye, it's not that. Tam's not got the money for a yo-yo habit, you know. That van bastard's got his pension book. He's either that or kneecap him. So, Tam's only just had that knee fixed, you know. Good old bugger trying to sell me his wally dugs and all. Aye, well, I'm not going to end up like that. That's me, I'm finished. Aye, good for you. He's one. Oh, come on now, Victor, get a grip. Be strong. Come on, Jack, I'm just needing a wee boost. Take a rich tea. No, want a rich tea. It's a bloody nib knob I'm needing. Look, listen to me, Victor. You listen. I've got half a cup of tea there. I'm needing one. Look at me, man. I'm, I'm shaking. I'm sweating. Victor, no! Allebone Station, I'll take that. Ooh, it's you got three stations now, Linda. Linda, gonna no jam the piece into the board like that. Hey? It leaves wee dents on it. Every time we play Monopoly, you always go that iron. You never go the hat, the car, or the wee scrub. <laughs> always. Yeah, all right, yeah, boy, not a problem. Okay, you're not a and problem. You're on site. Right. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, fond memories, yeah. I mean, I remember the night I played here. Five curtain calls I took. I mean, they used to say about Glasgow, it's a comedian's graveyard, you know. They all died here. Monkhouse, Clifton, the Winters, Dodd. I mean, if they hated you, they really hated you. But me, well, they loved me. I survived, you know. Not, not many did, but... Cheeky, cheeky chappy Charlie. Aye, aye, cheeky, aye. chinky, chunky, aye, was it? Aye. Cheeky Charlie Gifford! Not close. No, you're not right there, sir. No, 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 no that, that, that's me name. Oh, here I am, right enough. What are you aye, doing? Aye, aye. Jeez, oh, that must have been 40 odd years ago. Aye, oh, yeah. Aye. Gents, uh, we're doing a thing for the BBC. Aye. Music Hall of Fame. Mr. Gifford performed here. Aye, aye, we know, son, we know. We were here. We came to see you. Oh, him, really? Really? Aye. 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 Well, would you mind if we filmed you? Well, I'm not. Okay, well, come on. Come on, you come, mate. Come on, you stick, all right? Okay, Charlie, you were saying about your curtain calls. Oh, yeah, yeah. Five curtain calls I took here. I remember it very well. What's a curtain call? Cut. It's it's at the end. You take a bow. Okay? Okay. Rolling. Aye, but you never made it to the end, son. Aye, because it was pish, sure. I beg your pardon. You were rubbish, son. Uh, you got bottled off, that's how you got that scar on the nose there. That's right. Do you know, mind Jack, that was me with a screw tap, you know? Yeah. Cheeky Charlie Gifford, the boy from Camden Town. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, fellas, I think you got me mixed up with someone else. No, 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 no. He died in his arse and we witnessed it. That's aye. right, because uh, Jimmy Logan came out and he wiped the floor aye, with him, aye, you know? Aye. Sausages aye. are the boy. Well, hold up, hold up. No, you hold up. Aye. And greeting like a big Jesse. It was in the citizen the next day. So That's right enough, Jack. Asshole. Scotch Is that what you want? You want a piece of me? You want a piece of me?
Majesty's home for the blind. Oh, His Majesty's home for the blind. You can sneak in and feel them, they really don't mind. His Majesty's home for, His Majesty's home for, His Majesty's home for the blind. They don't see nothing. His Majesty's home for the blind. Teddy bear reminds me of our smile. Blink, blink. <laughs> Here. In the slaughterhouse on the gala gate, they kill stuff every day. They bring them in in the lorry and they have their wicked way. Oh, cows and sheep and pigs and goats. They shoot them in the heat and they slit the throats. But you and me say, what the hell? Because hacked up animals taste just swell from the slaughterhouse. Moo, stinky flare in the abattoir. Bad each and air in the abattoir. Oink, oink, in the slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. <laughs> What's the big knife? Well, now, what's what you're doing with that knife, Jack? Right, are you ready? I am ready. Get it open. Oh, jeez, oh. It's like bloody Siberia in there, eh? Aye, it's not a knife you're needing to defrost that, Jack. It's a team of bloody huskies. <laughs> yeah. You see, I've not been in there since Jean died, you know. She kept all that organised in there. Aye, well, let's get started. Right. What have we got here? Aye, what's that? Fish fingers. What's the sell by on them? September 1977. Oh, and that'll be rank. What else have we got here? Oh, here now I know what that is. That's a tub of jean soup. Oh, I we can have that then, eh? Oh, no for me, that's no right. That's no right. Well, that gives me the willies. That's soup for the deed. <laughs> Don't you bloody start. That's having sent that soup. Right, what else is in there? I can't even see. I've got snow blindness. Right, we'll come out of here. <laughs> it's right, it? Aye. Cauliflower. Now, that gives me the trots, bin it? <laughs> What's that? Looks like whiting. Aye. It's not even wrapped up or nothing. <laughs> Oh, my God. What is it, Jack? Ginger. Now, that's stupid. You know you're not supposed to keep glass bottles in your freezer. No, Victor. Freezer. Oh, jeez, old Jack, I'm sorry. 1983, the last time I saw him. I wonder where he got to. Oh, yeah. Do you not remember he went down the stairs and got tore into that old bitch? Accused her of lifting it. I'll have to go down and apologise. Ah, that's a load of pish. And anyway, she's due lally now. What are we going to do? I think if we're up a jumper then it should be all right. He's away, Jack. It's too late. No, what's the day? I'm putting a jumper in it. Jack, it's over. <laughs> to me. Oh, no. Give the cat to me, Jack. Ginger. Jack, now, no, give me the no, cat no, now. Give me the cat, cat go like go like it. <laughs> London, Paris, New York, Rome. It's fine to go travelling, but you gotta come home. Don't look for love around the world. There's only one place to take your girl. It's the Baxter's Lobby, Baxter's Lobby. Get her in the bunker, get her in the bunker. Backstairs lobby, backstairs lobby. Watch those undies disassemble. Down in the lobby for a quick knee tremble. Backstairs lobby, backstairs lobby. Get her in the bunker, get her in the bunker. Backstairs lobby, backstairs lobby, backstairs lobby. Here's that young thing again, there, Jack. Yeah, coming towards us. Don't, don't look now. Every day, regular as clock, but she's lovely horses. Why don't you say something to her? Uh, I don't like. Come on, you're eye on about her. Today's the day, man or mouse, Jack. I'd love to, but I don't think I... Go on! Hello there, sweetheart. 
Get lost. <laughs> Burnt. Shut up. Busted. She wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire. <laughs> Shut up. My mate Joe's a burglar. He burgles houses everywhere he goes. <laughs> You'll never meet a fella that is uglier with his big red face and big fat boxer's nose. Da, da, da. But underneath that very tough exterior hides a little cheeky monkey, heaven knows. For when he's filled his bag with all your valuables, he, he takes a dump on the rug before he goes. That's Joe! <laughs> He's my tea. Uh, sorry, Victor. Here, I know what that'll be. Here, here. What is it, Jack? Plus one for my calpine. See me. Ah, that's a rare helmet you've got there, son. What kind of bike are you on? Susie 400. Susie 400? Ah, I used to love the bikes, ah. Used to cut about in the old Norton Dominator, you know what I mean? Ah, I mean the missus. Used to take it up way past I the had plenty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jack, what is that you've been buying? Oh, I got it off the internet. See, this is the way you want it, wrapped up in a brown paper. So nobody knows, you see, you're not allowed these in this country. <laughs> Manky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, aye. This'll sort out these wee bastards across at the shops. What, a remote control for the telly? No, 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 no. The Electro Justice Sting Charger 2. Enjoy the freedom once more, no longer at the mercy of muggers, villains and rogues. Oh, <laughs> that's absolutely smashing. How does it work? Right, well, what happens is, say you're going out there, right, mm. and there they are, the wee bastards, right, and they say, right, give your pension book, right? Well, you just give them a wee nip of this. <laughs> on your way! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I've not a just, shot at myself. Let me yet. see the thing. No, hold on a minute. Jack, no, go on and just. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ, Victor, what have I done to you? Oh, 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 no, I've killed him, oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 Jesus, Jack, what happened to me? Oh, this bloody thing. I didn't realise the voltage was so high. It's all right, it's all right. You oh. wanted to know. Help oh. us up here. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, then. Oh. 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 That's a bloody lethal weapon, Nat. Are you all right? Hi, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's no harm done. Ah, well, give that to me, cos I'm going to put it in a bin. All right. There you are. <laughs> Bottles of milk on your doorstep Tell me you're no longer alive You sit on your favourite armchair But your heartbeat will never revive There's newspapers hanging from your letterbox The post on your mat sits unread If it wasn't for those 19 bottles of milk Well, we'd never know that you were dead <laughs> Ah, that was real. Yeah. What you done, eh? Aye. Right. Oh, you got a wee sad feeling when you get to the end of your book, eh? Hey. I'm saying you got a wee sad feeling when you come to the end of a good book, you know. I'd quite like to get to the end of this. Why don't you keep your voice doing, Jack? Oh, humpy. It's a lot of trash you're reading anyway. What? What is it called? The Battle of Stalingrad. <laughs> Shower of shite. Jesus Christ, Jack. It's three times I've read that bit now. Right, Jack's finished his book, so there's to be no more reading. You're wasting your bloody time anyway. Oh, aye, aye. That cowboy piss you're reading, eh? That's, that's worth something, is it? Don't start. Cowboy books have got substance. There you are. Oklahoma Heart, El Paso Tears. That's a big weepy there. That's a daft woman's book there. What's it about? Well, it's about this uh, cowpoke guy, you know, um, he's got the spurs and that and uh, the cowboy boots. Uh, 
Usually he's the last show he's got a horse and that and there. Jesus Christ, Jack. I'm up on what a bloody cowboy is. <laughs> well, um, what happens is he's, he, he's widowed, you see, and he's awful upset about it because the Indians have murdered his wife and that and his family. So he's in a hell of a mess. So he decides to up sticks and go to El Paso. And it's there he meets this lovely, lovely Chiquita. Whose father is uh, in debt to the local landlord, is that it? Aye. And big cowboy Joe, he jumps in and saves the day. Aye, that's right, aye. Have you read this? Did you read this before? <laughs> I don't bloody know read it. It's the same story. It's carbon copy bollocks. Oh, and yours is much better, eh? What's yours about, eh? Don't tell me, I'll tell you. A bunch of daft bastard and soldiers <laughs> running about. Pineapple. Wee boof. The Germans. Oh, the Fuhrer. And how does it finish, eh? We win the war. Well, where's the surprise in that? Where's the twist, eh? Are you sitting reading the book going, Oh, it's 50-50. This could go either way. The Germans might win the war, eh? What a nonsense. Well, look at your bloody cover there, eh? A big daft yank with his big white choppers and his rifle. A lot of tripe. Look at your bloody cover. Hey, some big daft Marlboro man winching a wee lassie. That's a lot of nonsense, you see. The point of these books is that it actually happened. The war is real. Hey, cowboy books are all glamorised. How do you mean? See, the cowboy books, right, they paint the cowboy as a big shot, you know, a good guy. The fact of the matter was, you see, Jack, the cowboys were assholes. Are you saying John Wayne was an asshole? John Wayne wasn't even a cowboy, he was an actor. And he was an asshole into the bargain. <laughs> Wait a minute. He was in all the bloody war movies and all the green berries and all that. Aye, and what? Well, he was an arsehole in name and all. <laughs> That's what I'm saying to you. John Wayne was an arsehole. Aye. <laughs> John Wayne's an arsehole. <laughs> Aye. Aye. Find yourself a widow, <laughs> rich as she can be. Catch her on the rebound from that cemetery. <laughs> oh, but you've got to get in early while she can be consoled. Tell her she looks good in black. And, and black, black you're not King Cole. <laughs> You didn't that big bloody message bag out with you. Hey, oh, there's a pillar in there. You didn't bring in a pillar to the bloody shops, were you? It's for the fall. Hey? We're going to take a heater right outside this shop. <laughs> what are you on about? I thought we were going for our lunch. Aye, that's right, we are. But we're not going to pay for it, Jack. Hey? <laughs> Look. You're going to take a fall right outside the front door. The manager, he comes out. You're on your arse. I'm all upset. Oh, my pal, my pal. Boom, we're in. Free lunch. <laughs> well, don't talk crap. They'd phone a bloody ambulance, wouldn't they? Oh, you see. They don't get to the ambulance party, you see, Jack. As soon as lunch is mentioned, you perk up. Who's mentioning lunch? Well, the manager, right? He comes out. What's happening? What's happening? Are you all right, sir? Are you all right? I was, eh, uh, says you, I was... I was on my way to the bookies to put a line on. No! No. I was... I was on my way to get my lunch. Aye, that's aye, right, aye, there aye. you are. Right. And then I'm like that there. Can I come and oh? Manager says, of course your pal can come. Aye, and you come, <laughs> says he. Oh, that's smashing, aye, aye. We're half, we're half and running. Free lunch, Jack. Aye. <laughs> Wait a minute. How about you take the bloody fork? <laughs> You've got more padding than I have. Aye, well, that's what they say now. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. That's right, aye. Uh, no, that's about height, that saying. Is it? Aye. Besides, here, you're into the wrestling and all that, eh? You know how to fall, Jack. Uh, I know I know how to fall, aye. aye. of course you do. Come on, that's what you want me to do? Aye, dear. Take the bag. So just do I go? One, two, three, clatter, do you go? I just ham it up when I get done there. Yeah, right into it there, Jack. Right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's the game Jack. there, Jack. Oh. Let me just take it down oh. a wee bit, sir. Be on to that oh, free lunch. Oh, right as rain. Oh, 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 you want to put that pull under my head there? Oh. 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 Well, is 
Is it finished, Jack? All plugged in. Come in. <laughs> is that it working now? Victor, fully operational. <laughs> Ta-da! Jesus. Oh, Would you look at that? That's, that's absolutely smashing. So then, Wait, wait till you see this. Hey. Oh, yes, I've got the lot here now, Victor. I've got the cash register wired up there. I've got lager, wine, spirits, fags, matches, cigars, crisps, nuts, the lot. Hey, that's absolutely smashing. So, eh, uh, what are you going to call it? You like this? Jack's Bar. <laughs> Jack's Bar? Oh, that's highly original. Must have taken you all of three seconds to come up with that. Shut your hole. What do you want to drink? <laughs> oh, what am I wanting now, right? What am I for? What am I for? What am I for? <sighs> Hey, Lager. Ooh, each and zen. Come on, for Christ's sake. I've not got all day. What are you wanting? My usual. Right, pint of Lager and a vodka and cola. That's the one. There you are. Now, what I was going to do was I was going to get myself a jukebox stick it over there, you know, for a wee bit of light entertainment. But, ugh, went down the bar as they couldn't see one I fancied. Anyway, they make too much bloody noise, didn't they? I mean, the neighbours will be complaining about the racket and all that. We can't have that. I might still do it, you know. What do you think, Victor? Victor. Victor! What's the matter with you, man? I'm trying to do my crossword here. Is that what you're going to do? Sit there like a dummy? Is it no a bar, eh? Jack's bar. Uh, it is. Money. <laughs> come on, come on. There's things to be paid for. You're charging me. I know, that's right. I've got overheads here. Such as? Such as, well, the electricity and all the stock. That bloody fan does they run in fresh air, you know. Right, much you after. Two pound, Ed. Two quid? For what? Look, we both agreed a small profit margin to cover my costs. You try and get that round over at the clansmen. They'll bloody chase you, so they will. Look, here's the deal. The lager's £1.20, 70 pence for the spirits and 10 pence for the dash. Right, £2. Right, if you'll excuse me a second. <clears throat> Many halves in a bottle? I don't know, 20. 20. Is that volume of piss you serve, eh? Much is that a bottle? £8. Right, £8. OK. And how much is a can outside here? 50 pence? Aye, right, they're there boots, eh? Right, 50 pence. And I'll give you 10 pence for your dash there. 10 p, 10 for... A pound, you robin bastard. And that's a pound for your pocket. Don't start your pish in here. Cover your costs, be Christ. I'll, I'll be wanting a, a pool table and some live entertainment of that margin. I don't have to stand in here and take that shite in my pub. <laughs> Two pound. Two pound. You should be wearing a mask and a strip at jersey at that. Here you are, two pound. Thank you. I gave you a tenner. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. I did, Jack. My mistake. Am I not getting a bowl of complimentary nuts? I'll give you a complimentary kick in the nuts if you like. Where's your toilet? Right, that's it. You're barred. Out! Here, I left a good coat in here. No, you didn't. Aye, I did. No, you didn't. Aye, I did. No, you didn't. Aye, I did. No, you didn't. Did. Get off me. I'll tell you what. I'll tell the cleaner to have a look for it in the morning, eh? No, oh, you do that. You'll be coming to the karaoke night on Thursday. You can stick your karaoke up your arse. <laughs> Get your in, bloody pi. Oh, Jack. Victor. <laughs> 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 what are you in here for? Got a problem with my pisser. <laughs> Can't get a piss. That's what I'm in here for. My pisser's broken, no? <laughs> bloody place, doom, Jack. You bloody tut nut. Eh? You too posh to have a pisser. It's all biology, mister. Jack. <laughs> That's something else, eh? The two is in here at the same day, at the same time, both with pisser problems, eh? <laughs> what are the odds of that, eh? We ain't asked the bloody bookies, eh? <laughs> Boys doing shooting and hollering, pisser, pisser, pisser. I don't know why we're in here with pisser problems anyway.
We're getting old and decrepit. Aye, old and done. So that's the deal. You can't, you can't have a piss then, eh? No, no. It's like a navvy. Stunning on the end of your flute. Yeah, stunning there like a wee lassie. Sprinkle, sprinkle, dribbling, you know. <laughs> Here, Jack. You know what happens when you get in there, eh? What? Back door. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> A finger up your air sole, you're joking. <clears throat> Nothing sure of pants doing, boom, you're in. <laughs> Here, Victor, I've got to this age without that happening to me. I'd be buggered if it's happening to me today. Aye, aye. I'm just going to go in there, I'm going to go, ho, oh, tablets, cheerio, thank you. Finger up my bloody arsehole, no way, Jose. Aye, I'll be right. Victor? I'm Victor. I'm bloody Victor. He's Jack. I'm Victor. I'm Victor. I'm Victor. Hello, darling. I'm Victor. I remember how my heart sang when you asked to rendezvous. I spruced up the wind behind me at the thought of meeting you. When we finally met, I wondered why the scorn upon your brow. Then you said that you no longer cared. You fat deceitful bastard cow, deceitful cow. Real the day, eh, Jack? Ah, it's lovely, eh? Here, you know what I was thinking there? What? Well, there's, there's Charlie away now. Mm. Aye, and Andra two weeks before, I'm sure. Aye, aye. We've no mates left. No, it's, <laughs> it's just you and me, pal. Aye, aye. It's difficult, you know, at this age to start making new pals, you know. Maybe they want to make pals with people who are age. Oh, you know? it's hard to be sociable when you're your age. Aye. Hello there. Hello. Hello there. I haven't seen you boys about the park at all. Ach, no. We generally sit up there by the bandstand there, you know. Oh, aye, aye. It's a good park, you know. Aye, it is. Lovely. You're a local fella, are you? I am that, yes, aye. My wife died back in August there, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry man. But I thought, oh, what the hell, I'm not going to let the world get me down, eh? That's the ticket. Quite right. Mm -hmm. Here. Have you boys been to the Twilight Club yet? Twilight Club? No. Oh. It's that a boozers, is it? No, no. It's a it's a sort of social club for people our age, you know. Oh, sounds good. Aye. Right. It's smashing. They've got uh, Mondays and the Tuesdays, there's uh, Meet the Neighbours night, you know. A bit of grub and a swally and that, you know. Wednesdays and Fridays, that's bingo. That's for the women mainly, you know. But the lads, they still put a line on as well, you see. Saturdays I've got a turn on. Always a good turn to you, you know, no rubbish, you know. Sunday you get a lovely big lunch. Aye. And they've got a picture on and all on this big video screen that they've got there, you know. Big video screen, eh? You really should come along sometime. I think you should enjoy it. You know? I might follow you doing one. Aye, night. we could aye. do, we could do, aye. 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 I think you'd enjoy it, you know. Well, listen, uh, I better get on, eh? Alright. What's to be what's Nice seeing you anyway, boys, aye, eh? Aye, you aye, too. Aye, nice nice seeing you yourselves. You. Nice to meet you. Here we are now. Frick. Frick. <laughs> oh, I'll give you a song, right? <clears throat> There's a country road I know <laughs> oh, yes. Where the lifestyle's kind of slow Ho, ho! Are the hills and mountains come right up to face ye? <laughs> There's a petrol station there <laughs> Run by a really nice man with silver hair Who is very, very old and never can quite place <laughs> you <laughs> So just fill up your tank Neglect to pay the daft old wine <laughs> Cos he's far too <laughs> slow to get up his ass and chase you Want the tin of beans? No, I've still got half a can in the house, sure. Oh. <laughs> what the bloody hell's going on? What are you doing? I'm boosting myself a can of salmon. 
And you ask your nudge, get it put back. Oh, be bloody right, it's mine's now. Do yourself a favour and stick one in your tail and now. Why, well, that'll be right, eh? Then what? Captured. Oh, give yourself a shake. It's not as if we're going to get caught. <clears throat> See that sign up there? Shoplifters will be prosecuted. Now, that is not Are up there. Are you not listening to me? Look down there. What do you see down there? A mirror. See? Well, that mirror only sees up to the pasta. You see that camera up there? That only sees down to the milk. We are standing, my friend, in what is famously known as the Swifty Shop Blind Spot. <laughs> oh, Tam put me on here. All the pensioners know about it. That is except you, Victor, honest Victor, the salmon buying chump. <clears throat> I will have stolen no right. When was the last time you'd your Nat King? <laughs> yeah, bloody minute. What's that got to do with anything? This Victor is your replacement. See the buzz you get? It's incredible. It's better than sex. Are you telling me that a cold tin of salmon jammed up against your clacker bag <laughs> is better than sex? Right. <clears throat> I'm not getting a buzz. No, 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 you don't get the buzz just now. You get the buzz when you leave the store a free man, one tin of salmon up. <laughs> How are you feeling now? Oh, a wee bit excited. Oh, nice, nice wee buzz. Oh, good for you, fella. Just enjoy it. It's your salmon now, you see. Mm -hmm. I've got to say, though, Jack, I'm nervous and a wee bit hot. Uh, that's just because you're coming up too fast. Just relax. Oh, Jack, oh, Jack. I'm going to make a run for it. Victor, take your time. Relax. There's nothing to it. We're just a couple of old pensioners getting their provisions. Honest as a day's long, see? <gasps> Oh, been rumbled, she's a store detective. Down. I'm telling you, Jack, that bell is fish. It's a cover. There's a rubber wing in that. She's going to take us down. What a shite. Your ass is collapsing. Calm down. Oh, I don't like it, Jack. I'm not doing a stretch for a lousy tin of salmon. I'll not be anybody's sell bits for one pound twenty nine. <laughs> you want to get us busted? Shut up, come on. Hello there, son. How are you? Hello, Jack. Hello, Victor. How are you getting your messages, eh? Aye. That's right, Wally. What of it? Nothing. I'm just saying hello. Who am having, Jack? Well, I'm a bingo caller, as was my dear old dad. Calling out the numbers is the only job I've had. My grandmama was one as well, and her dad did that too. So the job will be my son's, of course, when my bingo days are through. Now you may think there's better jobs than why I've had no luck. Cause... Clickety-click, I'm a slow-witted prick, and I must get as fuck as... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, hey, what was it? 95. Oh, these new art monitors are smashing, eh? 95? For hearing the bloody doorbell. Aye, it's quite a lot, isn't it? <laughs> Aye, but that's you. What? Your bottle crashing when the door goes. You've always been like that. Ah, dry up. Every Sunday the paper boy comes round for his money at half one on the button and you jump out your drawers when the bell goes. Give me peace. I've seen you just about shite yourself every time the phone rings. The phone's different. It's I bad news with that bastard. <laughs> what are you getting on with yours? Well, I got half the hoist there three floors down and just walked the rest, you know. Reading? <clears throat> it was 120, but it's back down to 110. Yeah. Not bad, eh, for 20 quid. I'll keep the old ticker in check. Right, notes. Oh, I know it's... Right, where are we? Right, this morning the mail came in. Gas bill, 74 bloody pound. Reading? 130. I'll tell you why it's so high. It's because you're running here freeloading every day off of my heat. <laughs> oh, your arse, Jack. I've never done telling you it's too bloody warm in here. It's like an oven. Anyway, me. Slipped in the bookies. Nearly fell. 
Reading. 140 BPMs. Uh, you get a fright because you imagine the worst, you know what I mean? Boof, up it goes. What's that smell? Oh, my bloody mince! Jesus! <laughs> oh, Jesus, if you look at that! What's your reading? Your heart reading? Hey, hey, 150. See, there's a high stress factor in burning mince. Ah, oh, you're not getting it. <laughs> uh, see, that's the thing, you're worried sick in case you've lost your dinner. Gas was too high. <laughs> That's how your pills are so high. Shut up, you're just... Look at that, look, 155, you're just winding me up. Ah, you're going senile, gas up too high, burning your mints. That's enough, 158, that's enough, Victor. You're losing your marbles. Look at that, 162, I'm going to knock you out, that's enough. <laughs> Quick, stubborn. have a look at your painting, that'll calm you down. <laughs> oh. I've always liked that paint, man. Aye, green grass, horses out to pasture. 140. Ooh. Nuzzling into one another, rolling meadows. Aye, aye. 135. Blue sky. Yeah. What a tacky load of bollocks that painting is. 142, you just annoy me now. Sorry. Right, well, have you had a, a footer? What? A shake, you know, a, a sugar. <laughs> what the hell are you on about, man? Well, what are your BPMs? Well, you're having a hand shandy. <laughs> you manky bastard. I've not tried that. I'll be damned if I'm going to stand there with my bobby in my horn counting my heartbeat. Mine's a 17. Mine's 16. <laughs> I'm needing my hole. <laughs> you know. Hey ho, it's your cell, Jack. You want a cup of tea, the new. <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you? Bloody Prozac ran out. Ah, nothing the matter with me. You want a cup? Aye. Up on the hill of the lonely god, you're dead. Yeah. Why's that television going on? It's four o'clock. We should be watching 15 to 1 here. You'll know soon enough for it's four o'clock. It is four o'clock. This watch never lets me down. <clears throat> That's as may be, Jack, but is your watch Swiss made? No, it's a Timex. It's for here. For here, not Switzerland, then. <laughs> there you are, my wee pal, thanking you. Now it's four o'clock. Aye, uh, very good, Victor. A brand new cuckoo clock. You must be chuffed. Yes, my son got it for me. Swiss made. Keeps Swiss time. In Switzerland. Oh. So your son went all the way out to Switzerland and he thought he'd bring you back. Hold the front page. A cuckoo clock. What an imagination that boy possesses. <laughs> Why, he really should write novels. <laughs> what you? Yes, you're definitely a shade of green. Shut up. Jealous. That'll be right. Jealous of what? A daft cuckoo clock. Or oh, the time with the bloody time. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Drive you off your bloody heater thing like that. Make it go again. <laughs> you can't. Even. Come on, you just force the hands out. Of your now you listen to me, Jack. This is horn made. It's an intricate Swiss engineered precision timepiece. It's no meant for your fat, impatient horn to force the time room. Ah, pish. I want to see the bird. <laughs> so do I. But the pleasure's in the waiting. The bird is a reward. Well, I want my reward. Now let me see the bird. The bird is not coming out, Jack. However, it will be making a brief appearance at half past and a full show of five cuckoos at dawn. Let me guess. At exactly five o'clock. And not one minute before. It's not a performing monkey. That bird is handcrafted for occasional outings. <laughs> the bird is resting, Jack. Victor, you're talking about that bird as if it was a real bloody bird. <laughs> You better put some paper down, because it might be splattering its business all over the new Swiss mechanism just now. Ho oh, ho! Very funny, Jack. Very droll. And if you knew anything about the Swiss, you'd show them a little more respect. You see, the Swiss do not enter into anything half-heartedly. They are diligent. They are industrious. They are known the world over for... <laughs> oh, it's exactly four minutes past. <laughs> Lump of shite. Yeah, I am. Oh. <laughs> You're not listening. 
Well, the heebie-jeebies got me, and there's nothing you can do. You drink a bottle and a half of white Mackay. And you'll get the heebie-jeebies too. <laughs> oh, but how do you overcome them? And how do you feel brand new? Well, you lay flat on your back. In a pool of sweat. And, and pray that you don't follow through. I'm talking skittles. <laughs> and pray that you don't follow I'm out for China and pray that you don't follow through. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's yours. Well, who else would it be? <laughs> Come on, Jack boy, show him. Here, Winston, wait till you see this. Your eyes will be popping out your head. Uh, I don't like, you know, I don't like showing off, Victor, you know. I don't like rubbing anybody's nose in it. But here, anyway, have a scotch at this. <laughs> right, feast your beadies on that. Colour TV, 20-inch monitor, flat LCD display with remote control. All mine. How do you like them apples? Wait till you see the picture, Winston. Clear as a bell, eh? Tell them the price, Jack. £149.99, pence. yes. You've got to be good to yourself. <laughs> Is that right, aye? <laughs> As you know, Mr Jarvis. All right, lads. That's smashing. There you go now. One each. On your way, lads. <laughs> now, this Mama Jamma is a liquid crystal display, DLT, Dobley Surroundy Sound. It's got a built-in plasma Trinity-tronic woof... woofer. It's got a woofer. Well, that's me or the television pricks of the day, isn't it? <laughs> You're off your head. Look at the size of that thing. That's far too big. That's a waste of money. Oh, your arse. This is a five grand telly, and I'm getting it for two. That's what you want nowadays. Home cinema. You see, I had to put the 20-inch television into the bedroom there. That's just a, a secondary viewing facility, if you like. Ah, it's like a bloody picture hall. You'll need to get a wee skank selling ice cream. Well, you can't take it away, you can you? I mean, there's no pockets and shrouds, and have I wanted one of these? You do know that. Wait a minute, are you telling me that's a five grand telly and you're getting it for two? That's correct. You see, this now, to retail in the high street, would cost you £5,000. But I got it for two. Old Tam's nephew, Martin. He got me a deal on it. Oh, aye. Is that him that works at Crazy Joe's Hi-Fi Audio and Visual Emporium? <laughs> the very same. Now, these tellies are from Japan, right? But they're made in Azerbaijan. Martin gets them sent direct for there. Dirt cheap and all. Oh, you fly bastard. Eh? <clears throat> Sounds ropey. Ah, oh, give me peace. This television is exactly the same as if it rolled off the assembly line in Nippon. Why is it it says Bulaki on it? That's Azerbaijanese for Sony. <laughs> right, get it on. Let's see the picture. Right. Oh, right. Settle down now. <laughs> Freedom! Refugees! Oh. <laughs> grand, big place! You could have flown them here, bloody first class for that! <laughs> Hello there, mate. How are you? Don't get the tea on, eh? And I was just a nipper. Oh. Upon my father's knee, he gave a word of warning about how <laughs> things might be. <laughs> well, he told me of the ladies and the things that the ladies do. <laughs> and he warned me of their antics could make a fella blue. <laughs> he said some girls have expensive tastes, while other girls are cheap. But the worst ones are the ones who rake your pockets while you sleep. They leave it ratted. They rake your pockets while you sleep. Remind me to forget I used to love you. Please remind me to forget you love me too. 
but that was then and this is so much later we could surely share a glass of wine or two if i forget some things remind me i'll recall them and if you forget dear heart i'll keep you straight but don't forget i remember how we broke up in the first place had you forgot you shagged my mate you were a bastard had you forgot you shagged my mate hey happy day last we all in the breed burn last we all came here to me dum de diddly day oh did did i did oh we better smoke calm and all Tomato, tomato, how can we wait to eat ya? Diddly day, diddly dum, do day to day. Slice, 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 you'd go on the roll. Rum, titty, do day to do, diddly day to do. Butter, 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 butter on your bloody go. Can you wait to eat ya? Smoke, Tom, smoke, Tom, in there, you mug. Rumpty dumpty dumpty, where's the salt and the titty? Ratty tatty tiddly tum, like the tiddly toe. Tee ha diddly dee, rumpty dumpty tee. Oh, diddly diddly dum, come to me, oh, make a pretty.